Good morning. This is Manoj Kumar Jain, and welcome you all in Indian U.S. Commodity Research Update. We have seen range-bound trade in both the precious metals in yesterday's session. Uh, after the fear of China spreading Chinese coronavirus in other countries, uh, we have seen uh, pressure on the prices of both the precious metals in international markets. However, uh, due to the correction in dollar index, uh, gold prices holds the key support of $1,550 per ounce in international markets. Silver prices also uh, closes above uh, $17.80 per ounce in yesterday's session. Uh, due to the spreading uh, Chinese coronavirus in other countries, we have also seen uh, pressure in uh, the global equity markets and uh, somehow it supports the safe haven buying in precious metals. Uh, we expect the prices of both the precious metals remain volatile and uh, if the gold prices holds the supports of $1,550 per ounce in international market could extend really towards $1,560-$1,568 per ounce in international markets. $1,542 act as a major support for uh, gold prices in international markets. If the silver prices also holds above $17.80 per ounce could extend really towards $18 dollar to 18.15 per triumphs the prices slip below 17.80 could again test 17.70 17.55 per triumphs again at mca gold prices holds the key support of 39,800 in yesterday's session and if the prices continue to sustain above this level could extend really towards 40,000 to 40,100 levels again 39,688 is a major support for gold prices in domestic markets. Uh, silver prices holds 46,000 odd levels in domestic market could extend really towards 46,400 to 46,600 levels again. 45,800 is a major support for silver in domestic markets. Uh, we have also seen a pressure in crude oil prices in yesterday's session as the prices slips around 3% in international market and breach the crucial supports of $58 per barrel on a closing basis. Uh, we expect the prices uh, remain in pressure and could test the $55 per barrel in international market in, uh, in coming trading sessions. After uh, spreading uh, Chinese coronavirus in other countries, uh, demand of crude oil is expected to be lower and uh, Supply is already on the higher side as uh, U.S. shale oil production reached to a record level. U.S. is producing around 13 million barrel per day and which is at a record level. Uh, as per the latest report, if the Chinese coronavirus spreads in other countries, it could uh, put the pressure of global crude oil prices and prices could uh, fail around three dollar per barrel in international markets we expect the prices remain volatile and expected to test the next support level of 55 dollar per barrel in international markets 58 dollar per barrel act as a major resistance for crude prices at nymex division even in domestic market we have seen the crucial supports of 4100 is breached in yesterday's session we expect the prices uh, remain uh, on the downward trend and could test the 4040 to 4000 odd levels at MCX. 4228 is a major resistance for crude oil prices in domestic markets. We have also seen pressure in base metal prices in yesterday's session as uh, copper prices test $6,100 per metric ton odd levels at LME and made a fresh two weeks low. Uh, prices also came under pressure uh, due to rise in uh, LME inventory and uh, fear of spreading Chinese coronavirus in other countries. If the Chinese coronavirus spreads in other countries could impact the prices of base metals as China is one of the largest consumer of base metals and other physical commodities. Uh, copper prices uh, slip below 452 levels in domestic market could test the next support level of 449-447 again. 454 act as a major resistance for copper in domestic markets. Zinc prices slip below 180 could test 178 odd levels again. 183 act as a major resistance for zinc in domestic markets. 
nickel price is also uh, breached the support level of 118 could again test the next support level of 1002 1033 continue to act as a major resistance for nickel in domestic markets in agriculture commodities we have seen very high volatility in yesterday's session as edible oil prices slips in early trading session but uh, after uh, news of uh, import duty cut on edible oils we have seen a recovery in uh, edible oil prices as uh, bursa malaysia klc gains after indian uh, duty cut news and uh, klc closed on a record high again cpo prices also recovered from their lows in domestic markets and closed above 800 odd levels if prices sustain above 800 could extend the rally towards 810 818 again 792 act as a major support for cpo in domestic markets uh, refined soil prices is trading below crucial resistance of 888 and if the prices sustain above this level could extend rally towards 894 8 78 is a major support for uh, refined soil in domestic markets after a news of uh, proposed duty cut on edible oils we have seen the pressure in the oil seeds in uh, domestic market in yesterday's session as soybean and rm seed prices crashed soybean prices slipped below 4200 odd levels in domestic market and we expect the prices uh, remain under pressure and could test 4100 to 4180 levels again 4200 act as a major resistance for soya bean in domestic market rmc april contract could also test the next support level of 4040 to 4000 at in coming trading sessions 4200 act as a major resistance for rmc in domestic markets fear of uh, spreading coronavirus also impact the prices of other agriculture commodities as uh, chana and castor seed prices also slips in yesterday's session and prices of uh, spices complex also fell if uh, the fear remains continue in coming days could impact the industrial commodities in uh, domestic as well as international markets for more updates on uh, commodity research keep watching indian us research update on telegram channel thank you